What do you want, George? I'm tired, man. I don't feel like getting up now. All right. Give me about 10 more minutes and we'll get up and we'll, we'll play a song. A roast hatch green chilies and let's drink another round. And drown the memory of the love that let me down. How come this broken heart won't learn? Hey everybody, what's going on? Guess what I've got today? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Hatch Green Chilies from New Mexico. Oh, my son-in-law, Zach, brought these over to me. And today we are going to roast some Hatch Green Chilies. But you know what? I don't ever do anything without a beer. Ah, magic beer. Exactly. So, before we roast these things, we're going to have to wash them. And we got to be extra careful because... We want to wear gloves when we're roasting hatch green chilies. Right, Michelle? So donning gloves and getting ready to wash these puppies off, or should I say peppers, these are hot hatch chili peppers, private selection, great for roasting, grown in New Mexico. Hatch green chilies are grown in the hatch region of New Mexico, and they are uh, a little bit more mature than your poblano pepper uh, out of California. The skin is a lot thicker, and therefore, they, they're, they're much, uh, the meat of it is much better for, for sauces and also for making chili rellenos, which is another one of Michelle's favorite dishes. And maybe we'll have to end up making one of those in the next video. But today, all we're going to do is just roast these puppies. And the first thing we got to do is we got to wash them off. So here we are at the sink now. Let's dump these in. Give them a little wash off here. Oh, one of them sort of getting ready to turn into a red chili pepper, I think. Hmm. Just a good washing. Just, just wash them off a little bit. And notice I have the gloves on. I think that's just probably good enough right there. Now, if you're like me, you do not have a green chili roaster, but you do have a grill. And so I'm going to show you how to do this on the grill. Very simple. First thing we have to do is get the grill ready. So I've already preheated it. And what we want to end up doing is get this grill up to about 500 degrees. That'll be just the right temperature. But I got to clean off a little bit of the stuff we made last night. It'll just add some flavor, I'm sure. A little bit of that nice and clean. What will be roasted here will end up being the green chili's outer shell, which will come off of it anyway. So there we are. Let's put it back down and let's see if we can get this thing up to 500 degrees. Right now we're about 350. Okay. I tell you what, this might be a really good time to go do a song. Welcome back, everybody. Let's play a song. That's right, I play guitar. Hmm. I know so far I've been doing nothing but piano stuff, and I write a lot of uh, piano stuff, but I write a lot more of my up-tempo stuff on guitar. I wrote this song back in the 80s, as most songs I've done, and while we're waiting on those uh, chilies uh, to get ready, I thought I'd do a song for you. This one's called Love Tries. I wrote this and recorded it in a studio and came away with a pretty good copy of it. I really liked it. Good guitar work in it, good vocal work in it. But unfortunately, all I had was a cassette of it. And that was a day back in those days, we didn't have CDs. And so I kept my master cassette of it. And years later, my master cassette of it doesn't sound too good. So I did put that up on SoundCloud. You can hear it, but I would like to go back in and redo this song, have it sound exactly the same but recorded, you know, to where I can keep it. Anyway, this is Love Tries. Her hungry eyes 
and sweep the night Up in the child of the pale moonlight, yeah Back for some love on the street Is this the best that your love can be? Because love cries and love dies But love always leaves you a colder shoulder Sometimes when love tries But never succeeding But love tries Love melts away from the star Never sides with the young and hard No, the only time it appears Love melts your happiness down to tears Because love cries and love dies But love always leaves you a colder show Succeeding, but love tries. Love is a fantasy, it only eats at your heart. Love leaves you cold reality And up in flames won't spark Love cries and love dies But love always leads to a colder shoulder Sometimes when love tries But never succeeding But love tries But love always leads you a colder shoulder Sometimes the love tries But never succeeding The love tries Love tries Love tries Love tries Love tries. And as you can tell, my voice is not as high as it used to be. Boy, that was tough to get through. Also, I don't play a lot of guitar these days because I have a lot more arthritis in this thumb and it's a lot easier to play piano than it is to play guitar. That was Love Tries and I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, let's get back to those uh, chilies. There's our green chilies. Remember, we had to wash those off. And now this is my bucket of ice water. And the process here is we want to try and roast these green chilies and then put them directly into that ice water, which is going to help cool them off and enable us to be able to peel that skin away and get down to the meat of those green chilies. So where are we here? Oh, look at that. Over 500 degrees. Oh yeah. Oh boy, she's hot. She is really hot. So, I'm going to set my green chilies up here just like that. Let me give you a little picture of that. And I'm going to try this left-handed. I'm not much of a left-handed guy, but let's, let's put them on. There we go. See? Pretty simple. So now, there we are. We got all of our chilies on there. No chilies left in the little bucket right here. We'll remove that and get ready with our ice water. And we'll put the lid back on and give it just a couple of minutes. And there we are. Okay, there they are. And they're popping, let me tell you. I think they're ready to be turned. Let me get my, 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 my tongs. Grab those. And get ready. Here we go. Let's go from the very first ones. Oh yeah, look at that. 
See, that's really starting to roast there. So let's let's turn that one over. Let's just turn all these over. See, you want that. You want that dark right there. So there they all, all turned over. We will now close it for another two or three minutes. It won't take long at 500 degrees. Now, if you have a charcoal uh, grill, like unlike mine, mine's natural, gra uh, natural grass. <laughs> I am speaking of natural grass, <laughs> that is not natural grass. Here in the desert, we don't have natural grass. But if, if you have natural gas, it's not quite as easy because um, you'll just achieve higher temps and better uh, a green chili uh, roasting. If you have a, a, a charcoal or if you have even propane would probably be better, but charcoal is the way to go. That's exactly it. Anyway, I thought I'd show you a little bit of my backyard. And we'll come back and we will check on our green chilies. I'm going to add some more ice to my mix right here because I really want that to be cold. And we'll check on our green chilies here when we get back up to about 500. And we'll give it maybe a couple of minutes. How about that? Hey, while we're waiting, I thought I would just show you my whole setup for my outdoor kitchen. I don't have a very good one, but it is adequate. There's my Pit Boss Pro Series that I made uh, ribs yesterday in, and maybe I'll do a video of that in the future. Not a difficult thing to do with that Pit Boss. And coming over, this is uh, my outdoor kitchen. Now, in the winter time, I'll keep this refrigerator going for my beers, so we'll have beers out here in the fall, winter, and spring. But in the summer, I just think it's just too hot. There's my Blackstone over there where I do all my grilling. And of course, there's the Kenmore that I'm using right now for my grill. And that's uh, what we're doing. The, uh, we're roasting the, the uh, green chilies in right now. And down here, I just have a nice little uh, storage area. Uh, my good friend Dave Srolov, he gave me that and I've been using that. And that's a nice little cart right there to be able to also store some stuff and just help me with... Uh, with all my grilling, griddling, and smoking that I do out here in the desert. And it's just about time for those green chilies. Let's go take a look at them. So like I was saying before, my ice is getting a little thin in there. Let's add some more ice to the mix here. Pour that in there. We want this to be really, really cold. So we can get rid of this pan now. That's where the green chilies were. And let's put this up here so we'll be able to just dump them right into that. Boy, I'm going to hope I can do this left-handed because I'm just so much better right-handed. So I'm going to switch my camera over and it look, looks like we are at 500 degrees. So we've been, been going about another couple of minutes. Let's just check on these chilies and see where they are. Oh my gosh, they're looking good. Look at those chilies. We're, now, you see how the skin's coming off of that one? That's what I'm talking about. We got to get that skin off there and that's why we roast them because then we can turn these things into just deliciousness. So let's see where we are. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and turn these knobs off. There we go. Turning all the knobs off. Hope you can see that. And now we're just going to start dunking. How about that? Let's take a look at that. Oh my gosh, yeah. See, see this? That, that green chili right there is ready to be de-skinned. So let's just put that right in there. And we'll get that in the water. Here's another one going right in the water. Push them down in the water. We want them to get as cold as possible because it'll just be so much easier to de-skin them. And that's when we're going to need our gloves again. So let's get to doing that, shall we? So here we are back in the kitchen. We have our green chilies, our hatch green chilies all done. They are roasted. And now it's just a matter of peeling those skins away from there and then being able to put them in another bowl where I can either store them away by freezing them or I can just set them away for use within the next week in the refrigerator. So let's get started with putting our gloves on because this is the part that can really hurt you if you don't have these on. Hmm. My name is Dr. Bendover. I know you've heard that joke. Either my hands are getting a lot fatter or these gloves are getting a lot smaller, either one. I don't know. 
know, you tell me. Okay, just to make things easier, and I will show you at this point exactly what we're going to do, and uh, we'll walk through one process, one step at a time, and it looks like this. So to make things easier on myself, what I've decided to do is just uh, seal off my sink here and pour all the chilies with that really cold water right into this sink. Mmm, and they still smell incredible, by the way. So there they are, all in the cold water. And let's get ready to skin some of these chilies. So I'm hoping you'll be able to see all of this. We'll start with some chilies here. Let's just get one right here that's, oh, look at that. Just all, all we're doing there is just peeling that skin. Look how easy it comes off. This is now a roasted green chili revealing all the wonderful stuff underneath it. We'll just peel it off and just let it peel into the water, just like that. Sometimes it's a little tougher, sometimes it ain't easy. There we go. It's just gonna peel away just like that. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's get this bottom piece right there, look at that. A little bit more right there, right there. Peeling that away. A little bit more skin right there. And there it is. A little bit at the top. But of course the top, we don't need all of it all the way to the top, but we just want to get it nice and peeled away. Now that is what a hatch green chili is right there. That is a beautiful, beautiful underneath. That is a lot of green chili meat. And that will end up, wash the hands there. Wash the hands there, and we will make a meal out of that. There it is. Well, I got to tell you, I didn't get a whole lot out of this that I was going to end up using in chili rellenos. So what I decided to do is just take it all apart and make myself a really good uh, hatch green chili salsa. And so I added some onions in there with all that, uh, that green chili meat, as well as uh, probably about a good tablespoon or more of garlic. And now I'm going to add a little bit of hot water to that. I added about a teaspoon of sea salt. And at least, let's see how this is going to go. So now here we are at the food processor. We're going to give this a shot. Let's turn this puppy on. Hmm, chop or dough? Let's go for a chop first. Get a good mix together there. Okay, now let's go for dough. Oh, yeah, this is the money. Nothing left to do but give it a try. Okay, so here we go. Let's release. Oh, okay. Oh man, that smells really good. Let me bring you in here on this. Oh, check that out. That looks like green uh, chili salsa there. Oh, we've got a big onion piece there. But we'll get rid of that here in a minute. So there we are, let's get right on down in there. Hatch green chili salsa. Good stuff. Hey, this has been Jeff.